Hello, and welcome back to my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. My name is Ben. With me, as always, not as always, but sometimes, is Manila. Hello, Manila. Wave to the camera. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Ooh, three people are watching now. Hello to whoever it was that just joined. Um, so the first part of this, I think I'm going to go for a little bit of time tonight because I don't remember where, I, like, what the hell I was doing. That's me, the sometimes baby. So I have no idea what we were doing. So a lot of this at the beginning is kind of going to be getting my bearings. We're remembering what we were up to. And then, uh, and then from there we'll, uh, Oh, dude. Where, what was, uh, Oh man, what were we doing? <laughs> I knew I was going to be forgetful, but Oh yeah, this is it. All right. So dude, I was right on top of him with this too. That was a shot in the dark and I made it. We can delete this. So we've done a few things in here um, as a catch up because I know Manila was in here last time. What we've done so far in this, so we're, what this is, is called the Gauntlet of Shar. And what it is, is a template, a temple to the goddess Shar. She's one of the, she's like one of the two main deities. Or like her sister is a deity as well. Her name is Saloon. She's the goddess of the moon. And then Shar is the goddess of the darkness. So she's like this edgelord god. Like the edgelord god. If you if you were an emo kid, you would you would be a follower of Shar. But it's also for like people who are just kinda like low energy. Cucks. I think that I think there was a we were reading some Shar lore. Uh, some books that we found about Shar. And uh so like Beyonce and Solange. More like more like um let me try and find a more fitting You know that meme? There's this meme of these two. There are these two girls in the front. You know, they're sitting in their car. One of them's driving. The other is in the passenger seat. The one in the passenger seat is like she's kind of got a big nose. She's kind of got a big head. She's freckled. She has I don't know, like reddish blonde hair that's kind of like curly and frizzy. Look, almost looks like Hermione type hair. And then uh, and then the one on the right, the one in the driver's seat, is like this like really clean cut almost like you know has a dark you know black hair like dark like all of her makeup's dark and shit like that it's like that it's like that's saloon and char and saloon's like the more happy one but they hate each other so i don't know all right so and so char is shadow hearts goddess and shadow hearts whole thing was that she wants to be you know she's uh she's a devotee so she wants to be she wants to show her love for Shar. So part of that was to become a thing called a, a Dark Justicier, which is like the highest rank of Shar worshipper. And in order to do that, you have to come to this thing that we're in now called the Gauntlet of Shar, and which has a couple of trials that we've successfully completed. Um, and then once you complete the three trials, and then you find an Umbral Stone, you can put it in this, and that's going to lead us to the... We found the Umbral Stone not by completing... It was actually in a different place. Or which we won't get into. We'll discuss that later. Um, so, in order to obtain that that uh, that umbral stone, we actually switched up teams to an Astarian team comp because um, we didn't realize this. But in order to get that umbral stone, we had to do something as part of. We were doing something as part of Astarian's storyline that's also in the same place, which ended up we didn't realize ended up giving us the umbral stone. Well, we were doing something else. So we're going to go back to Shadowheart now. Because we want her to complete her... Uh, her... Um, her destiny, essentially. The fucked up thing, though, is that... Shar is also the thing that... Keth, this guy named Kethrick Thorm worships. And he's like the big, big bad guy. So far. He's the big bad guy of Act 2 so far. 
These lands may not be under the thrall of Lady Shah for much longer. No matter. She wishes for Ketrick Thorn to be punished. Her darkness was a blessing offered before he betrayed her. She can redirect her powers elsewhere once he is cast down. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna let Shadowheart discuss this and then I will address your question. No matter, she. I know. I felt it. You wouldn't have been able to take it. The artifact has a will of its own. It would fight back if it didn't want to be with you. Like the One Ring. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. It's still just a box, after all. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way, prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. All right, well, I wanted you back on my team. May the darkness protect you. I completely forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Join me. A bit crowded. Don't um, You'll need to swap out some. So Astarian is our healer replacement for... Uh, for shadow heart so we're gonna oh cool all right then we gotta replace gale with will well then. sorry but there's no room for me and he'll be replacing gale i like how you think Ooh. And then uh, Lazel will be taking over for Karlak. Where is Lazel? She's always fucking hiding. Where is she? Lazel. Dude, am I blind? Where is she? No, oh, she's fucking. No, oh, that's Karlak. Will, Shadowheart, Halson. Yo, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she's up here probably. Why is she? Ugh. Terrible layout. Uh, don't don't blame me. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. All right. And then we got to do a little bit more management, some more administrative work. Which is to say, we need to make sure everyone is geared up. So boots are missing from Will. That's it. We just need boots for Will. What do we got from you, buddy? Sure. These are just not equipped. All right, your question was, what do I, what do I, th I always blame you. What are your thoughts on destiny? Destiny bro, or just destiny? Who's destiny bro? What now? Yeah, what? Dude, I gotta replace this dang. Uh, been using the same staff for ages. My thoughts on destiny it doesn't exist. It's an illusion. Tis an illusion, Ryan. Tis an illusion. It's not real. We just tell ourselves that to make ourselves feel good so we can fall asleep at night. What is psionic ward armor? The item detects that the wearer is gift. So this goes to Lazelle. 
But is it better than what we have on her? 15. You take one less sl Oh, that's actually really good. Okay. So this is heavy armor. Let's see if Shadowheart can wear this. You unromantic leprechaun. Now that is it's you have you have it all backwards. That's more romantic. Cause it's freeing. There's no such thing as that. We can do whatever the fuck we want. This is so much better. You have me all wrong. I love inventory management. Oh, don't throw it! Oh, dude, it could be like a. She could be like a Wonder Woman. You romantic this shit leprechaun. Uh, send a Podrick. Send a Podrick. Dude, we have so many books in camp. It's insane. Alright. I think we're good so far. I think we're good. Yeah. Alright. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Keep that. Keep the arrows, because those could come in handy. Keep these. Definitely keep this. I forgot to even bring this. Let's take a look at how many books I have. <laughs> Alright, so it starts with, uh, there's six in a row. First one only has four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-seven times six. Two hundred and eighty-two pieces of lore that we've picked up so far, and we're. I think at the end, the last, the very last thing we'll do on the stream is read every single one of them. Well, before we do it, we'll organize them into categories, and then, uh, and then um, from there we'll order in chronologically, and then we'll do uh, maybe maybe it could be take so long that it might be like multiple episodes, but each one will go over like a specific section. We won't just like go around w w willy nilly. Yeah, and then we'll like. Yeah, and then we'll go over every... And then we'll probably learn so much, because I've read all of these... Some of these I've paid more attention to than others, so let's put it that way. I think I've done a pretty good job so far of paying attention and getting some good info out of them, and like being able to solve... So there's... All right, so there's one of, the, one of my gripes with this game, and it's, it's a such a nitpicky gripe, is that... I, and I can see how... All, like when I explained this to someone, they'd be like, "Absolutely not! That sounds like a terrible idea." So maybe it's just me. It probably is just me. But one of my gripes with this game is that when you when you pick up something to read, and it has like something some useful information in it. Like I remember this one time we were in, we were trying to find our way inside of some necromancer's basement that he had underneath. He was like pretending to be an apothecary or a healer, and like underneath his little clinic, he had a he had this big layer essentially like, like subterranean layer and so we're trying to find our way into that and part of that was we had to answer answer some like some questions at this magical mirror and a lot of the questions the answers to it answers to them you could find in the books that you could pick up in that in like kind of the in like if you were picking up the stuff and reading it as you went through this like little dungeon then you would have had uh, all the answers to be able to 
to answer like you would have had all the answers for the mirror's questions but when you picked it up and read it the game automatically logged the information that was relevant into the game and i'm pretty sure what it does is it offers you new um dialogue options weren't that weren't available before because you read the thing but then all that means is you have to pick it up and press A. You don't actually have to read it because the game the game essentially reads it, like your character reads it, and then the game will know. So even though I could answer the questions because I read, I actually physically read everything in there. I didn't have to because the, the the answers were already were dialogue options. That was the only thing that I I could say I dislike about this game, and it's such a it's such a specific thing I think but that it it's not really a huge deal I don't. I don't think the fact the fact that this is a thing that I can gripe about is a credit to the game to begin with. Oh wow, we're getting low on supplies. Shit, how much do we have? All right, so we're gonna go back and complete the the Gauntlet of Shar for um, Shadowheart. Ah. Uh. Not everyone's side this time. Dude, look how cool Shadowheart is. She looks like Sauron. Doesn't she? Or like the mouth of Sauron. Or I guess the eyes of Sauron. But that's... Isn't it cool? And then we got Will. Will kind of just... He, Will looks like he dressed up as Will for Halloween. Will looks like he dressed up as dressed up as himself for Halloween. And then uh and then we got the Witch King bro. Oh yeah 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 that's that's yeah with the mace. Yeah you're right, the Witch King. But she she it does look very like you know what I mean? Like Mordor. Like the Mordor from the movies. I thought it was cool. I forget exactly where we got this. I think it was against the big boss of uh Act One the grim what are your thoughts on <clears throat> what are your th what are your thoughts on flails though like maces with chains at the end if i were if i were a medieval peasant that was looking to, to pick up a weapon go to war and shit i don't think i would choose a flail if offered i would, I would just go with a stick instead i'd rather have like a, a mace but looks best as a morale weapon what do you mean by what do you mean by morale weapon like a support weapon or like a or like a when you when you like i feel like a lot in world of warcraft whenever you had a paladin's ability it was always like a hand holding a mace with like some sun shit going on behind it as if to say like rally charge or some shit you know what i mean <laughs> That's what I imagine. That's what the mace is for for me. It's something to rally behind. Let's put it that way. All right, so this is this is the Shadowheart show. So let's let's do our prep and then get out of the way so she can have her moment in the spotlight. Oh, dude! Uh, next tech that I got for you. It's insane. It's insane. So. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not, because I don't have a... Your description of the old school art was in me. All right, so so I'll go over the summons that I got on my character right now. So I have the, this uh, this dryad. All right, so I have myself, who is uh, actually let me get all of them out real quick. If I get one more level four spell slot, we're chilling, but. 
That being said, so I have a. So we have on this this team comp, we have a total of seven summons. One of them is uh, one of them is temporary. It's this guy. The fuck is he? This guy, Connor Vinderblad. <laughs> he's good for absolutely nothing, uh, and he's level one. He's just, but his name is Connor Vinderblad. And he gets he gets killed, and we just bring him back every time. So that's summon number one. He's Kenny. He's the Kenny of our team. Uh, summon number two, Trusty Scratch. We really don't. He's here just to be along with us. The moment that we think that he could potentially be in danger, he's gone. We just dismiss summon him. He'll do. He'll like a lot of times in battles. Like people will just ignore him because there's like some like I'll be right in front of them and I'm a massive owlbear so like scratch can just like kind of come up behind and like nip at their heels and do like five damage a turn but the moment that that enemy turns in his general direction we dismiss we dismiss summon so that scratch never we can if he dies we just summon him back at camp and it's fine there's no difference but we're not playing by that rules this is a there we're we're imposing a new rule on ourselves so that's summon number two Summon number three, yes, yeah, there goes Connor. He only lasts for 10 turns. It's a one pump jump, a 10 pump jump. Next next up, we got a Dryad. This is a, uh, I believe it is called a Woodland Being, Conjure Woodland Being. And this is a, it's a Dryad. We've named her Sheila. The reason being that her biggest, her best ability is this thing right here called Strengthened and I don't know if this is the correct way of pronouncing it, but Sheila lag. So it just sounds like Sheila. So we're going to call her Sheila lag. And this thing owns. When she uses this, she can bonk people. She has pretty shitty movement, but her auto attack will do like 20 to 30 damage. And nobody pays attention to her. And she also has this ability, which is amazing. This is like an AoE thing that does damage to anyone that walks over it. So if you just use this on their backline, their backline wants to reposition her for some reason, they'll just take damage. It's it's really strong. So she's just a good unit. Then, uh, so but she's really for damage and control. She's for damage and uh, crowd control or terrain control, we might say. Yeah, terrain control. We'll go with that. And then uh, fifth or sorry, sixth. Uh, fourth on the um, summon list is this guy so this guy is actually the fallen lover of the dryad now I won't explain why in more detail but all I'll say is that we've named this guy Danny all right so that and then and then we got these two guys I haven't named these guys but if you can think of two that I'd like I'll be I'll be up I'll be up for uh, naming them if you guys can if you can recommend a good name for these two guys. These ice methods. What they're really good for is jumping into the back line or just like they've got amazing movement. And they're they're kinda like they're like uh, Sheila, but squishier and um, a lot more movement. So they trade squishiness. Now, Sheila isn't tanky to begin with. So these guys are like, they like take no damage at all. I know it says 21 health, but these guys seem to die at the faintest whiff of damage. But they're really good, they're really strong. I would go as far as to say that these are actually the strongest summons that we have, these two ice methods. They're so good. And then the last but not least, old trusty he's just this game doesn't give him a name it's just a uh, find familiar imp but we've named him gimp gimp the imp he's just really good too he's an he's a he's a we do these three are usually together we send them to do the same thing every fight they're on the same mission their directive is the same let's put it that way And then while we're here, let's do, uh,
So this is my guy. He's the mega tank. He has 78 health. When that 78 health is depleted, he'll go back to human form, and then we will just go back into owlbear form, which will 100% heal us, technically. Um, so we're just there. We're we're there to do two things: tank the ever living crap out of everything, um, put pressure on units. So attack of opportunities on ranged units, essentially, or just getting in the face of ranged units because he has this ability, Crushing Flight, that is a jump that ends in AoE damage and potential prone. So he, and he has insane, we have this thing, oh, this ring on him right here that we probably will never take off of him. Movement speed plus 10. So he just has insane movement. It's so good. And then he just auto attacks twice. He, you know, he just, he doesn't do anything fancy, but what he does do is fuck shit up, which is awesome. Next we have Shadowheart. She's the, the best unit in this game so far, at least on my team, of any unit that I have. She heals like none other. And that's that. That's Shadowheart. She's the GOAT. She's amazing. And she's about to... She's about to actually, we should have left her for last. Will is ranged damage. He's the caster. And the proud owner of Gimp the Imp. Um, he's got two different concentration AoE spells, depending on what we feel like doing. He's got Misty Step. He's got, he's actually got three different AoE concentration spells. We'll have to actually fix that. He's got this. This is just range attack that put, gives disadvantage to attack rolls. He's got Shocking Grasp. He can, he can shock and Grasp as a reaction. He's got a little bit of CC. And last but not least, we, we took the two feats that imp or like something we took these two things that makes Eldritch Blast really good uh, one of them being Repelling Blast so we can choose to toggle this and if it's on um, it'll knock back 15 feet So and this is a cantrip so it might be kind of boring that we just use them as an Eldritch Blast machine but that's actually it's really fun because you can just misty step and like it's fun to just have somebody who just lasers people, you know? Although that is kind of like the thing I hate about a lot of like fantasy-ish movies is like everything always devolves into energy blasts. But this is the this is the closest we'll get to to uh, key blasts in in uh, beam duels in Harry Potter. All right, last but not least. We got the Bay, Bay, the Beyblade herself, Lazo. There was one fight, I think it was the one where we were trying to protect a portal that Holson went into to save some child. I don't know. Um, Lazo, we were kind of like split the team up between. There's like people coming from two different sides. We had the entire team go left, and then we just sent just Lazo to the right, and she killed everyone. It was incredible. We were having a tough enough time with the other, you know, 14 of us over on the left. And then Lazelle was holding it down against an, another army on the, by herself. So she's a one-man army. Lazelle's a beast. Shadowheart, though. Amazing. Amazing healer. And the reason we're here. So let's, let's witness Shadowheart grasp her destiny. Inscription's challenge remains thus brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah. Is there are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another Oops. <laughs> Oh, there's two different things. Inscriptions brave the gauntlet. There are recesses on the altar. Oh, I just had to click the. Find Catherick Thorne's relic. Oh shit, dude. You seems to quiver and cool, as if disturbed by some presence. 
an invisible, luminous, welcoming presence. Child. Oh shit, dude. Child. Is that you? Indeed. Welcome. It has been a long road to bring you back to me. But there is more I need of you. Listen closely. Like the dark justiciers of old, you must journey to my innermost sanctum and make a sacrifice in my name. You will become my voice made flesh. Whoa. To command all who bow to me. Seek out the library. It houses more than just knowledge. Find the spear of night. Wield it to make your sacrifice. They want us to kill Isabel. You were born for this. Now forth. Make me proud. I won't fail you, my lady. If this involve if they're gonna force us to uh what does this take us to? Gotta go get that spear. Was it in there? I think it was upstairs, actually. Fuck. No? No, it wasn't this one. So Lazelle has already cast aside her kind of greater power, higher power. I wonder what we'll do with little old Lazelle, or little old uh, Shadow Heart here. What are you? Says insert tome. Quiet. What tome would that be? <laughs> Fuck. I didn't mean to become. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> There's 282 of this, these. Okay. So we're getting Dark Journal of Dark Justice here. Let's look at the T's. Legends. Tome of the Faith Loop. Tome of the Self Same Trial. Tome of the Soft Sub Trial. So these are all the tomes. I have no idea what I'm doing. It says insert tome, though. What can silence the night song? Scrolls and tomes read left to right or top to down. 
both, I think. Same as paper. Same as like normal stuff, I mean. Shit, am I- what's taking damage? Stop standing in it then, you idiot! What is my team doing? Stop! <laughs> Everyone come over here. <laughs> Jesus. Stay away from the black tentacles. What can silence the night song? I don't know, man. It's so it says it says insert tome. Oh, dude, this is... Listen to this. If the rumors are true, the answers lie within the pages of these books. It must do. This is the second time I've seen them make that grammatical... It's very idiosyncratic grammatical... thing. Is that... No, am I, am I crazy, or is that just not correct? If the rumors are true, the answers lie... The answer lies within the, the pages of these books. It must do. It sounds like something... I don't know, it just sounds like somebody... Something somebody would say when they're making fun of an idiot. You know what I mean? A hidden way to become the first of, among all Dark Justice years. How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter if it was not commanded to walk this path. If, if I was not commanded to walk this path. Lady Shar will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. <sighs> Excuse me. I will scour every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place at her right hand. I mean, I agree, but I just need to... Can't reach. Maybe it's... Do they really... Do they really put something on the top shelf as like a... <laughs> Wait, what is this? Gas pit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, is Lazelle tall? She can't read shit either. Is Will tall? Dude, none of these people. Am I tall? I blew a wild shape charge for nothing because these people can't reach a book. Oh, I can't even reach it. <laughs> Fuck. How do we get up there? Do we need to put a box under it? Oh man. Now we gotta go find a box. Oh, I got an idea. Shadowheart, go back to camp and get us a casket of fire wine. What, if, what is that for? Don't, don't argue, just do it. We're going to MacGyver this. You'll see my grand design. What could it possibly be? What could we possibly need a, fire, a casket of fire wine for right now? All right, I'm on my way back. All right, now, what I want you to do is put the fire wine barrel right here. And then I want you to jump on top. Fuck, we can't jump up. Maybe Lazelle is small enough. No. Oh. What is up with this, dude? If I turn into a bird, will you let me? Oh man, I wish there was a giraffe wild shape. Stop. Everyone. Especially you, Scratch. Stop fucking standing in the... It's very easy to walk around it. Let's get going. I'm a bird. What do you mean I can't reach it? Is there like a mystery within a mystery? Is there a mystery that we need to solve first before we can solve the main mystery? All 
Alright, that didn't help. Dude, I think the mystery lies within this, uh... Oh! I got an idea. Maybe I got an idea. We'll see. Let's see. Sorry. Fuck. I have to go back myself. No one back home will ever believe this. Dude, you're double gaming right now. It's insane. Oh my god, thank you so much. I don't know why that's the highest compliment, but I believe you, so I will, I will thank you. Um, what was I here for? Not that. I was here to tell Gail to get on the team. Go ahead. I'm listening. Let's do a... I tried to kill you in my sleep. No. <laughs> well, I did, but he's aware of that. Why would I bring that up? There's a lot to talk about with the... Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Let's take Will. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Dude, also we've learned that uh, Will is the is lead on then. Is the most incredibly dorkish dork on the planet. But he's also the biggest bro on the planet. You'll know why, I'm not gonna spoil it. That's what I figured. That's what I figured, Manila. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the outside? It's like when a cat starts purring. Cats only purr. Well, I guess they can purr when they're distressed, but generally speaking. <laughs> Am I making you purr because you're distressed? Am I your discomfort streamer? <laughs> What was I doing? Oh, we only brought mage. We only brought Gale for his mage hands. All right. Please, for the love of God, open. Oh, I can't do that. I can. Can I move it? All right. So the hand can reach it. How does one move? A. There's something else we can do. Fuck, man. This is so diff. All right, maybe we can move it. Can we jump on top of it? Let's find something we can jump on top of. So we can reach this stupid stack of books. Potentially find a... Potentially find a... Uh, why am I doing this with my mage hand? Shut up. Alright, let's see if there's a book we haven't read. Other than that one. No... Oh, that one, oh, that one. <sighs> Nada over here. Oh, and more books, more books, more books, more books. Nope. What do we think about these, this chair geography that we got going on? It's very Sharon. All right, maybe if we missed a reading somewhere. Is there t Madeline's ledger? Is Halson tall enough to reach this book? <laughs> we'll put 
put Halston in for, uh, I guess maybe Lazelle. Or does he not want to leave his... I don't know why he keeps this child around. Such a weirdo. Reminds me of, like, Judge Holden. I need you by my side. You must cut <laughs> and, uh, before I can join you. An unwieldy number. Four. Ready at your side. Oh. Can you imagine trying to teach a teach a or asking a like a five year old? Or like no, asking like a uh, like a two and a half year old how high they can count? And you're like, I can count to uh, I can count uh they're like they're like I can count to ten. And then you're like I can count to fifteen and they're like what an unwieldy number that is. <laughs> what would you do if a child answered you like that? Answered you like that? Like an adult. I would slap it, maybe. Well Tell enough don't talk like that. Talk like an idiot like you're supposed to. The riddle of the night. Da da da. I'm the riddle of the night. The night. The night. I am the riddle of the night. Can't reach? Dude, he's a fucking tree. What do you mean he can't reach? Alright. And for that. For that, you're off the fucking team, Halson. You're off the fucking team. Oh, hello, Cragged Rock. Ooh, I'm the rhythm of the night. Greetings. Na -na. Na -na. I'd like you to join me. Halson can step aside. That's all Halson can do. I agree, Lazel. I know we always don't always see eye to eye, but I think I'm making a good choice as well. If I do say so myself. Alright, back to this dang riddle and the stupid tentacles. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? There is a book about this. I know I keep on such an I keep <laughs> Whoever whoever facilitates this uh back and forth teleportation between camp and live game is getting a, a workout today. Whatever the Heimdall of this uh setup we've got going on. Whoever that is, thank you for all of your work today. Boned. Oh, <laughs> bonded by love, not bone by love. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. Let shadow fall where the light doth creep, and silence cloak the din. Let blackness into lost hearts seep, and bid our lady in. But it doesn't say anything about silence. Well, it did, I guess, say something about silencing. Cloak the din. So silence, isn't it? Is that all it is? Silence? What a stupid riddle. Dark journal. No, this is not the different darkness. This is not, this is about the thing we threw in the fire. De Hurst. Ketherick Thorm, none of these are about... These are about Ketherick Thorm, which is Shar adjacent. Or one might say Shar parallel, but uh... They're not parallel, like very much entwined. Um... I apologize for whoever is watching this. But not to you, Manel. I don't apologize to you. I'll never apologize to you. Um, Halson's journal. Why do we have Halson's journal? Good thing he's never gone rummaging through this box. 
to find out we stole his journal. What do you think Halson writes about in his journal? Ugh. My favorite leaf didn't bloom for me this summer, or this spring. Letter, these are all letters, none of these are tomes. I need tomes. I don't, I really don't want to have to look this up. <laughs> because not only will that mean I'm not playing the game the way I want to play it, that also means that I'm too stupid to figure this out. Shar, Shar, no. No. <laughs> Char, 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 char. Teachings, teachings of loss. Right, so we know that. Maybe in these teachings of loss, we will learn something. Light was a mistake, and life it is an illusion. Wow. Wow, Mommy Shar, thanks. Oh my god. This is gonna drive me insane. I have no idea what to do. I'm gonna scratch my ear. Oh my god. I don't wanna have to read all those things again. Who doesn't have an alchemist pouch and a keychain? And why do I have two? Silence this gosh dang thing. Is it one of, is it, did we use the wrong umbral gem? Is that it? <laughs> that would be so dumb. What can oh, I walked in the black tentacles song? now. Fuck. What can silence the night song? Dude, I don't know. What can silence the night song? Tell me, Gail. What is your interest in astral plane? <laughs> Rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. All right, shut up. <laughs> what can silence the night song? Insert tome. What tome, man? What tome? What can silence the night song? Did we not pick the tome up? So wait, I could have, I could. How can I turn the candle off? But not. Dude, 
Do you see this? It's right next... It's even further back than the stack of books. Dude. What is happening here? Whoa. <laughs> if I burn it, will that do something? Or what if I levitate myself? Is there a way to levitate? What if we made what if we made Lazelle jump like a freak? Yes, she can reach this. She can jump to the frickin' moon and back. Ugh. Dude, for a second there, I thought I was going to take. <laughs> what? What? So there wasn't really... I don't... I didn't figure anything out. Okay. That felt kind of cheap. What are we doing now? What can silence the night song? Okay. What did we do? Oh. Phew. <laughs> How does one get to the treasure room? Is it downstairs? No, it's like right here. We just haven't done this in a while. Oh, it doesn't even say it. Does this, this doesn't open the other one. Wait, so we inserted, but which one did we insert? Something about lessons on loss. Teachings of loss. Oh, maybe we put the wrong one in. What can silence the night song? Maybe not. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? Dude, you're gonna kill you're gonna kill Scratch. What can silence the night song? I have no idea what I'm doing. Dude, you killed Scratch. What can silence the night song? Leather bound tone. What can silence the night song? Huh? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. What can silence the night song?
Maybe it's through this leather bound tome. This book has all but crumbled to dust. What can silence the night song? Teachings of loss, teachings of loss, teachings of loss. Leather bound tome. What can silence the night song? Did I do it? A spear of night. All right. Let's see. I mean, this just looks exactly like uh, what she was meant to wear. Spear of night. Shar's blessings. If Shar allows it, use the spear to kill Night Song. Whoa. Can she even use that? Whoa. I don't like this for her. I like this for somebody like Will. I think Gale and Lazelle would make a wonderful couple. They're just so... They're just so far on the opposite sides of whatever spectrum that they share that uh, I think it would just work, you know, for some reason. Now, we have the benefit of this being not real, so we can thrust that upon them and then hope that it turns out and not have to worry about any real-world repercussions. Such is the beauty of gaming. Oh, wow, she can one-hand that spear. That's what she said. All right, let's go back to the altar to see if we have any more clues to go off of. I know we're supposed to kill a saloon person, I think. Um... But the only real one that sticks out to me, they're probably, we've probably met a ton. Not only a ton that are saloon worshippers that we would have no way of knowing. <laughs> such is the piece. Um, maybe maybe the, such is the vice of video gaming. That might be more of a a better way to put it. What, is, what, was, what was this? Why haven't I noticed this before? Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. This is hardly more convenient. <laughs> if I can't get all 16 of these fuckers on this thing at one time... <laughs> or at least Gale, and Gale hasn't, hasn't completely toned out. Every, let's go, everyone. All aboard. I think we're good. Someone pull the lever without Gale walking off the... No! <laughs> Shut up, heart. Get on. Uh, it's like trying to reformat a Word document. Like try to move it, trying to move a picture in a Word document. I don't... All right. Bye, Sheila. Oh, Gale. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. We were uh, we were pretty close that time. We only missed two. Let's go back down. Oh. All right, hopefully they stay there. Oh! <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, dude, I think I actually ran out. Or is he dead dead? Yeah, he's dead dead. Can I resurrect you? Confirm, preserve life. Gale. Damn it. <laughs> that was a waste. I thought I had something to, like, resurrect people with. Oh, there we go, yeah. All right, Gale's back, everyone. Look at this, boom, 27 health, like it's nothing. Oh. It's, it's like homeward bound. see if what were we even doing I think we were gonna um oh yeah we wanted to see if there was anything else we had to do about like well, what are the next steps with Shadowheart now where the fuck is my team oh how's you guys where'd you guys go oh there you are okay why can't I get off we off, thank you. How many die today? Yay. How many die tomorrow? My god's such a doomer, man. And there's no way to turn off his, his, his little quips every time you select his character. Alright, so we have the we have the thing. Brave the gauntlet of you. the gauntlet of Sha. The Dark Lady's finest work. Okay, yeah, I know. We we know. We've been here for quite some time. Oh, there was a sound. Am I moving? No. Looks like we gotta go down there. You know what I mean? Or like Is Char hot? That's Char, I believe. Or right, based on this statue alone, would you worship Char? <laughs> this is such a. T <laughs> this might be the most brain dead way of going about things, but. What do you what do you say, Manila? Is Shadowheart barking up the correct tree, based off this statue? Well, this is such a cool difference in perspective. Look at look at our characters up in the top right, and then look at like it's cool looking. Really makes you feel like Baldur's Gate, you know. Alright, th apparently this was a no-go. Where else are we supposed to fucking go? So apparently we're supposed to go kill someone. But the only person I can think to kill, I don't want to kill. This activated a platform that will allow us to travel deeper into the temple. Yeah, dude, I was just on that, though. It didn't allow us to travel anywhere. Oh, does it just have to be Shadowheart and then somebody else sends her on her way? Is this like a... Only now. Wait. Oh, it was a gem on the floor. Wow. 
I'm surprised Gail wasn't the one to say that. It's a real Gail line. Now we are here. We have arrived. We've spent so much dang time in this gauntlet. Oh, this is this this is where the I, I get the cases of my words mixed up a lot. All right, so this is where we insert the other ones. That's why there were four. Okay. Uh, super easy. Is that all you have? Is that all you got? If this is a fight. All right, I'm going to take a break here. This seems like a really good spot to take a break because I think there might be a fight coming up. I hope there's a fight coming up. But we're going to we're going to call it here because it's been uh, an hour, hour probably in about an hour and 10 minutes of playtime. So we'll be right back. 15 minutes. One, two, 